here we are alive and outside the garden well we're getting ready to go in there shortly anyway uh, today I want to bring to you uh, optic foliar uh, great foliar spray products um, I've been using them now for quite some years and uh, well not that long you know four or five years I suppose but uh, I find their products do work absolutely amazing and the niche there from Optic Foliar is uh, one heck of a guy. He's there to help you out any questions or inquires that you have on his product. He's uh, right there for you 100%. And he also backs his product, which is uh, truly awesome. And not only that, he is uh, one of our one of the great supporters of the Duke Grow Show. So I figured, well, I've been using this product for such a while now that uh, yeah, I should give you an idea of uh, what the products are and uh, how I use them. Um, I'm just kind of going slow on here. I'm hoping you can get a chance to read what each one of the uh, products are, are about here and what they can do. And... Uh, this is an interesting one to switch. Uh, for those uh, plants you got out there that uh, you know what are going to harm on you, yeah, this is the stuff you want to pick up for sure. And as part of an IPM and stuff like that, there, um, Optic Foliar has the attack too, which is awesome uh, dealing with PM and such. I've never had PM while I've been using Optic Foliar, especially attack. But here in Canada, we have the uh, Elium. And on the information package here, it just shows you, or the pamphlet, uh, sets up like a little factory thing and shows you the process of how uh, the whole line of products work here. And one good thing about Optic Foliar is you don't necessarily have to go out and buy each individual um, a bottle like I do. Uh, this is my preference actually. I like to mix my own. Um, you can actually uh, just pick up a bottle of Overgrow and that's a ready to use product and uh, you're off and running. And uh, I must say with uh, mixing these products uh, no need to uh, the pH and uh, like the niche states there, you can use it up, uh, you know, pretty close to uh, before harvest. But uh, I prefer not to spray anything in flower. And we'll just flip this little thing over here and show you a little bit about the uh, what he has here on the IPM. I say another good thing about it is, is with transport and such, you can definitely mix other things with it for foliar spraying or, uh, yeah, like he has here, the uh, the pest control. Well, let's move on over here, and I will uh, show you all here how I uh, how I mix mine up. I like using these cheap little sprayers here. You can them at the dollar store or, or here in Canada, bargain shop or, or whatnot. Uh, they're just like uh, 16 ounce, 455 millimeter, milliliter. <laughs> I'm not sure why that's not focusing very well. But uh, yeah, these pump sprays work very well. And it's pretty great with the mixing rate. Um, one thing I do advise is pick yourself up some pipettes. And uh, yeah, it definitely uh, helps prevent uh, contamination. And a little a cup of clean water wouldn't hurt either. Uh, prior to mixing, usually what I do is I just give them each one of them just a little quick stir or shake lightly. And all I do here is uh, well, these are three mil millimeter pipettes, so. Uh, we're going with about a half a milliliter of water, so we can... Well, I kind of overdo it, because I just put a whole three milliliters in there. 
and I kind of rinse out the pipe out here in the in the water, and then back in just to rinse off any residue off the uh, the pipe bed. And I just give this a little stir like that, and we move on then to the uh, the watts. Uh, one thing I forgot to say is cool thing about the product. Tells you right there how to mix it. Uh, this would be A. Come on, focus. Well, it's A, B, and C anyway, the way they go in. So it's pretty cool. So you mix in your transport first. Then your watts. on to the revs the rev like I say I'm not measuring it precisely it's more like Two and a half milliliters uh, that would go into this uh, container here, but uh, I'm just popping three in there anyway. And then the optional helium, uh, it's not really needed, but it does, uh, it's a good preventative, that's for sure, for IPM and, uh, and a few things there. So we're going to give it the same thing there. I'm just going to dump three mils in there. You don't need that much, I believe it's more like two milliliters. And shake it up a bit there. Put a spray around it. It's gonna start popping out the end, so it's a little bit careful there. And there you have it. That's how we mix the uh, Optic Folio products. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little episode here. And uh, please head on over, check out OpticFolio.com. Uh, great great Canadian company and uh, like I say the owner there Dinesh uh, he's more than happy to help you out well we'll see you next time bye for now